As we begin today, I'd like you to all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would now like to deliver the land acknowledgement for today. We begin by acknowledging we are located in the unceded, occupied territory of the Wiat people. This land has been stewarded by indigenous people since time immemorial. We acknowledge the critical importance of the land and water to the indigenous peoples of California today, and that the existence of tribal communities and preservation of traditional indigenous ways of life depend on the secure and permanent land bases and the right of self-determination. We support and defend the rights of all indigenous peoples to retain their specific cultural and religious traditions and practices. We honor all indigenous people who work tirelessly towards justice and healing. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for coming to the first normal Arcata High School graduation in three years. These last two years have been unique. We have faced challenges like no group before us ever has. But in the face of adversity, this graduating class has always had one thing, each other. And it is because of this, because of the community that we've created at Arcata High these last four years, that despite these obstacles, this group of promising, intelligent, young graduates have succeeded. It is because of each other, all 228 of us, that we have been triumphant. This is a day of celebration. Let's enjoy it. Thank you. invite Sophie up to sing our first song. Oh, 
all you'll have is leaving. I'm gonna need a better reason to write you a love song today. Today, I learned the hard way that they all say things you want to hear and my heavy heart sings deep down under you and your twisted words your help just hurts you are not what i thought you were oh hello to high and dry convince me need this too. I'm trying to let you hear me as I am. I'm not going to write you a love song because you asked for it because you need one. You see, I'm not going to write you a love song because you tell me it's make a break in this if you're on your way. I'm not going to write you to stay. reason to write you a love song today cause you asked for it cause you need one you see I'm not gonna write you a love song cause you tell me it's make a break and this is on your way I'm not gonna write you to stay I think she deserves another round of applause. What did you do today at school? This cursory question, usually asked by my mom at the dinner table, has often left me tongue-tied. I usually respond with something along the lines of, we didn't do that much, it was just a normal day. Because in my mind, most days were just that, normal. But today, as I stand in front of you, I realize that together, these supposedly normal days are the exact reason that these four years are worth celebrating. Imagine this. Each one of our 720 days of high school is condensed into a single pixel. Some pixels are bright and yellow, to resemble the days you spent at the river, and others are dim and beige to resemble your time spent reading Steinbeck. Take a step back, and suddenly, this array of supposedly insignificant days turns into a beautiful spectacle of high school and illustrates just why today is so important. See, high school was never about these chords, supply and demand curves, or literary tropes. High school is all about our experiences. And when I look at this mosaic of high school, I see first loves and heartbreaks. I hear Will Salamunovich talking about his band. I see our enthusiastic zoo going above and beyond for taking such amazing photos, by the way. And eventually, I see us sitting here, waiting to leave this unappreciated place. And I say unappreciated because, in truth, high school is a spectacular safe haven from the harsh adult world. Here, we are given space to find our passions and explore our identity. Here, we learn both geometry and basic human decency, and here we celebrate our oddities and learn from our mistakes. See, as we begin high school, everything is a first. First kiss, first time driving, first midnight email, pleading your teacher for an extension, and so on. And then you begin to get comfortable. Days begin to blur, and eventually something switches. 
It is suddenly our last prom, the last day of school, and eventually the last time I will see almost all of you. And to be honest with you, these lasts kind of make me sad. We all want to be done with high school, right? But no one tells you that actually leaving this place can be brutal. We have made lives here, fallen in love here, and leaving this familiar place is terrifying. But that is exactly why we are here today. This community is coming to an end, and I think that we all deserve a moment to just appreciate it. So take this time, enjoy your walk up to this stage, and remember that no matter how bad you want to, this past will always be with you. And as you pack your bags for your next adventure, please don't forget to bring your picture of high school with you. And as we continue on our unique paths, let us be grateful and always remember to ask ourselves, what did we do today? Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Nally, and this is Lila Cohen. We are two of the senior class officers this year. We thought we would take a few minutes to talk about gratitude. We are the only class at Arcata High this year that has had the opportunity to experience a normal school year, and that was our freshman year. As sophomores, we were told to shelter in place to do our part to flatten the curve, that we'd be back after a two-week break. Well. Here we are, exactly two years, two months, and two days later. And while things are not completely back to normal, with the help of so many people, we are getting there. And for that, we are grateful. Um, we want to thank our teachers. We see you. We saw what you did. You showed up for us every day. You were there. You helped us through what was for most of us the hardest months we have endured, despite the chaos and challenges of your own lives and families during the pandemic. Just keep going, just keep going. Our teachers cracked jokes and found humor in such difficult time. You encouraged us to turn on our cameras and talk to each other, to show our pets to our class, and allowed us to hang out in chat rooms during office hours. It was clear that this was the hardest year you have ever encountered as teachers, and we are so glad you stuck with it. You didn't give up on us or education, and we are grateful. To the, to the classified employees, often behind the scenes and underappreciated, you are the backbone of this school. From our aides to our librarians, office staff, kitchen staff, and custodial staff, we recognize your commitment and ability to show up for us, even under the most difficult of circumstances. You are the ones doing the sometimes thankless jobs of answering phones and fielding questions and complaints from our parents. Without your loyalty and dedication to us students, we could not be here today. Thank you to our administrators and our academic counselors. Thank you for never giving up on us. You went above and beyond trying to reach us when we were struggling. You gave support to those with dreams of still attending college after high school. You gave us hope when things felt hopeless. We are grateful. And thank you to our parents, caregivers, friends, and family, anyone and everyone who made up our support system throughout the last four years. You were the ones who got us through those long months of Zoom school, so, so social isolation, bouts of COVID and COVID anxiety, good times and bad, you were there for us. Because of our support systems made up of each and every one of you sitting before us today, we made it. And to all of you, we would like to share our gratitude. Woo! So we are gonna end by thanking the class of 2022. Thank you for persevering, for showing up, putting in the work to get through those hard moments. Thank you for being there for each other. Uh, we, as a collective community, have gone so far and done so much together, and I couldn't be more proud of how far we've come.
I would like to share a quote from the philosopher Epicurus, and, go, and it goes as follows. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you have now was once among the things that you only hope for. I hope all of you can carry that sentiment of gratitude with you into your future endeavors. To the class of 2022, we made it. We endured. Congratulations to all of you and in the adventures that await. Thank you. So welcome. We are here to um, recognize the class of 2022, and the next two uh, individuals um, excelled academically as our salutatorian and valedictorian of this class. So I'd like to invite up Sydney True and Noah Mizell. These past four years of high school were far from normal, and we've all had our share of struggles. We've endured a historic pandemic, the loss of loved ones, and an increasingly chaotic and frightening world. But despite these struggles, we've also had good times and happy memories. Memories that fill up the pages of this early chapter of our lives and give us the strength and courage to live life to the fullest. Memories of enduring countless assemblies, and spending long hours after school plodding through the dreaded pineapple lab during biology class. Memories of our sophomore year when we endured going to school during a power outage that returned us to a pre-electricity era for multiple days. Visions of uniting as one to orchestrate empowering walkouts. Then, being forced to switch to online learning at the end of sophomore year. Memories toiling to figure out how to transition back to in-person learning at the end of our junior year, and playing an unhealthy amount of Minecraft during Zoom lectures along the way. Begrudgingly losing the battle to keep the AHS bathrooms clean, finally getting the track that James has been talking about for ages completed just this last year, and ending with yet another lockdown. But now this chapter of our lives must come to a close as we go our separate ways together. It's important to remember that at the end of the day, we still have the rest of the book ahead of us. We're simply moving on to the next chapter and leaving this one behind. Stepping away from what we know and what we love and braving the scary new world in front of us completely on our own, we need to remember that we are incredibly resilient and the world holds a wealth of new opportunities for us. Through this next chapter and exploration of our lives, we hope that we'll use all that we've learned and will learn to, to create the change we, need to, we want to see happen in the future. We've been passed the baton, and now it's our time and our responsibility to continue the, chain, the fight for change and equity. Unlike the sad finality of flipping over that last page, we are lucky to have the promise of many more pages to come as we go our separate ways. This marks a time of great excitement and sadness. Exciting in the fact that we'll get to experience new passions and experiences as we move and embrace new jobs, new journeys, and scholarly pursuits. Sad, 
in the knowledge that after today, there's a very real chance that we might never see each other again. But just because we can't see each other in the halls doesn't mean that we won't still be there, together, united, as the Arcata High graduates of the class of 2022.
Okay, a talented group of kids. One more round of applause for our talented jazz players. Well, welcome family and friends. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Jim Manji. I'm the principal of Arcata High School, and thank you for coming to celebrate the class of 2022. This class has completed a very interesting high school journey. It began four years ago, like many before it, but somewhere along the way, a pandemic happened. 
Education changed from the classroom to a video screen. You learned how to use Zoom and interact with your classmates and teachers in an online setting. This year, the class of 2022 helped bring us back to school, back to our routines, back to sporting events, plays, concerts, and assemblies. I will remember the spirit and perseverance of this class for their ability to hold in-person events, gatherings, and activities where we spent time together again, masked, but again, together nonetheless. Your accomplishments this year are not only measured in your grades and awards, but by your personal growth and determination to create a post-pandemic life that's better. Today is not the end of your journey in education. It's a chance to transition to something new and build your knowledge. Life is about accepting challenges and finding solutions. Whether you attend college, trade school, take a gap year, or begin your career, you will continue your learning. Your educational experience may look different, but it's not complete. New adventures await you. As you look ahead, I ask you to consider two things. How will you serve your community and what would success look like for you? The first is service. This is an interesting concept, helping others. Service takes many shapes and forms. It could be formal or informal, even anonymous. But finding a way to serve others is one of the most rewarding things you can do in life. It may not be easy, but the good you do when you're helping others makes your community come alive, and it gives you a very unique sense of fulfillment. Service usually doesn't make you rich or famous, but it will make you respected and valued. To me, being respected and valued as a person is priceless. The second is success. It looks different for each one of us. Can you define what is important to you? What makes you happy? What do you value? I believe if you can answer these questions, you will become very successful. It's up to you to define success. Not me, not your teachers, not even your parents, friends, family, loved ones, it's up to you. It's something you will find within yourself. If you stay true to what you feel is important, what you value, what makes you happy in life, you will have success. We have two special people here today graduating as well who have helped many of these graduates on their journey. These two people are the definition of success and service, Ms. Susan Lovato and Ms. Julie Engels. I don't know what their next journey holds, but I know that they have set the bar high for their replacements in terms of academic rigor, student engagement and support, as, as well as success and service at Arcata High School. Lastly, I would like to thank the many people who have helped make this day possible for the graduates. Parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, siblings, teachers, office staff, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, counselors, instructional aides, school psychologists, coaches, friends, peers, and mentors. Together, you have all played a large part in making this day possible. Congratulations, class of 2022, on reaching this point in your journey. I know that you're ready to embrace the next challenge in your life wherever your path may lead. Superintendent McDonald, the Northern Humboldt Union High School Board of Trustees, it is my great privilege and pleasure to present to you the Arcata High School Class of 2022. Hi. Um, it's funny, as I, I wrote some things down, but I was sort of touched by the, the kids and Mr. Manji that I might stray a little bit. Um, but the biggest thing is, as I'm sitting there listening to the kids talk about their journey, it truly was an epic journey. And, and I don't know what I was thinking when we thought we'd be back in two weeks. But I also reflect back on sitting in my kitchen at 5 o'clock in the morning, 
talking to the Office of Emergency Services and drafting those voice messages that I would send you saying, you know, it's six o'clock in the morning that we're not having school. And looking back, it seems so ridiculous. And, and it was in a lot of ways, but we all, you as parents and community members, our students, our faculty, all of us were put in such strange circumstances and had to take on such different roles over the, over the last, you know, three years. And it's just really cool to be back here in person, together, typically, like, you know, blowing the doors off for our kids, this tremendous group of seniors. Um, I want to thank Mr. Manji. Um, he and his team just really do a fantastic job. I appreciate all that they do um, to care for our seniors uh, throughout their high school career. Um, I was touched by, by Jim and his thoughtfulness. Um, and the thing that, that I've noticed, I've been to a lot of high school graduations. I don't know about you guys, but I go to a lot of them. And I have never been to a high school graduation where the seniors are paying as much attention as they are right now to each other and to their principal. And it's just, it's, it, it's just a meaningful time for all of us. So right on. Thanks for paying attention. And um, so while Mr. Manji uh, absolutely is right, um, Susan Lovato and Julie Engels have been remarkable for their long careers. Um, and they also, the thing that usually we don't you know, talk about our staff as much, but if you're listening to the student speeches today, um, Isaiah started off talking about kindness. And then we moved into resilience. And we moved into gratitude. And I really think that, um, that Susan and Julie, and also um, our outgoing principal, Mr. Manji, as they sail into retirement, they embody that. So I really think it is appropriate to uh, recognize them. So Jim, uh, I hope you enjoy your next stage in life. Um, and again, for all of you, you know, the thing is, like I look out there and I see some people that weren't always super happy with me or us, but you're here. Because whatever it was that we were trying to get through together, we did it together. And being here right now is, is very, very cool. So I want to thank you for being here and thank you for all that you did to support us and to push and to prod us to make sure that we did the best for the kids. Well, thanks. So same with our faculty. Um, you know, your faculty and staff, and it's been said by the students and by Mr. Manji, truly, this is an exceptional group um, of professional educators um, from the, the office, teachers, to our classified staff. And they were put through a lot um, trying to manage an unprecedented time, and none of them at any one time ever failed to put the best interest of the students um, in, behind, in front of their own desires or wants. Um, I was really, really, and continue to be very, very impressed with our faculty and staff and all the work that they do, no matter what, to make sure that they're doing the best for the kids. So that's that gratitude thing. Woo. Woo. And you guys, the thing about, you know, when we talk about our faculty, staff, and our parents in the community, which is, we're all very important, we would not have been able to be successful for you had you not come back to school with such enthusiasm. So while we're all talking about, well, how are we going to do this? How many feet apart do we need to be? Or how long are the period's going to be? Or what are we going to do? You all came back with unbridled enthusiasm, and you're the ones that made it feel okay for us. You were the ones that led us to get back together in person. You're the ones that led us to appreciate and enjoy school to the level that we did. So I just have to say to you as a class, you really, really, you led the way and you gave us the passion and enthusiasm um, to be able to take care of you, so thanks. So, <laughs> so I know that you're ready. If you were able to tackle this in the manner that you did, I know that you're gonna be okay going forward. And I also know that all of you know that if you ever get into a bind, you can pick up the phone, you have a trusted teacher, you have someone in the office, you have me. Um, if you ever get in a bind, you know that Arcata High School will always be there for you. So um, as we're gathering to celebrate their accomplishments, I wanna to say to my governing board um, that I certify that these Arcata High School seniors have met all the requirements of the state of California and the Northern Humboldt Union High School District, and I present to you these exceptional candidates and invite you to accept the class of 2022. I'm a little short, so. <laughs> Well, unlike Superintendent McDonald, and my daughter who's yelling at me knows I get to talking, so I am gonna stick to a script. Cause... So, thank you very much. I am honored to be here this afternoon representing the Northern U Humble Union High School District Board of Trustees. This ceremony is truly one of the most rewarding and significant events of the school year. Graduates, this diploma that you are about to receive has an unwritten story of your individual high school story. Some positive chapters and some 
complex chapters. But use your lessons in a healthy way as you begin to finesse this adulting thing. The board is so grateful for the amazing support our community, guardians, admin, teachers, and staff give to our schools, and most importantly, our students and their success. Congratulations to each graduate. We wish you the very best in your future. We encourage you to follow your dreams wherever they may take you. So, on behalf of the entire Northern Humble Union High School District Board of Trustees, it is my tremendous honor to formally certify that all graduates here have met the requirements set forth by the state of California and accept them as the 2022 Arcata High graduating class of 2022. Here we go, best part. Stephen Carson Tucker. <laughs> Son of Clint Rebick, Alexander Harry Joris. Solomon Scott Kesnich. Oops. Thank you. I'll throw him down. Mackenzie Mitchell. Gunner Matthew Bowman. <laughs> Finn Byron McRae. Alex Jonathan Gorge. Nicholas James Parker. Anthony Tito Thompson. Finn Patrick Sullivan. Amaya Madrone Mendel Nickel. Dela Jeline Rebstock. Amadeus Garcia Brown. Ariana Safaya Luna Burchill. Finn Scott Murphy. Amy Elizabeth Rayner. Eva Carolina Beck Johnson. Grace Catherine Talty. Flannery Corinne Warner. Elizabeth Grace Johnson. Sophia Allison Fromm. Miyaka Ayas Laros. Serendipity Vega Welsh. Woo! Ian Michael Letts. Woo! Caleb Shea Ashton Brown. 
Samuel Amit Glick Aldag. Malcolm Lambert Seaman. <laughs> Matthias Orion Severn. <laughs> Meadow Jasmine Moon Jennings. <laughs> Lila Rose Sinkowitz Cohen. <laughs> Ty Ellis Franklin. Jude August Ortega. Emily Catherine Nally. Braden James Horner. Noah Vernash Mizell. Kai Hansen. Ireland Rose Summer. Yeah. Isaiah River Levy. Yeah. Melina Sky Ledwith. Sydney Hannah No True. Milo Cole Krockenberg. Wyatt Mason Baker. Cherish Kaylee Robinson. Kayla Ann Schlem. Jasmari Biane Ramos. Yaravit Gonzalez. Yeah. Congratulations. Marina Yoda. Yeah. Ari Samuel Watson Alter. Yeah. Axeri Guadalupe Ramirez. Selena Aliana Poe. Yeah. Dahlia Joy Parker. Gabriel Ramos Rivera. Martina Jean Stoker. Sydney Joe Avila. Jennifer Bazan. <laughs> Judith Palacios Gonzalez. Adriana Danielle Rich Fallon. <laughs> Haley Annabelle Kenyon. James Bowen Frakis. Madison Marie Stromberg. Lemony Lightning Hut. Isabella Mazzotti. Piper Lowry Carver Winkler. Yeah. Abigail Rose Costello Anderson. Yeah. Maxwell Zeba Sims. Yeah. Haven Luna Fricky Smythe. Anna Lee Janelle Clark. Trent Eugene Gately. 
Nicholas Michael Chorney. Anthony Lundy Barnes. Aiden U. Shelton. Benjamin Matthew Rossiter Moore. Bryce Slater Lee. Bodie William Lewis. Skyler Ellis Burleson. Sienna Elizabeth Long. Maria de las Mercedes Caram. Menia Elizabeth Ballinger. Alyssa Leah Jubb. Sydney Christine Lusa. Sophia Ava Marie Dreyer. Julia Elizabeth Simonde. Chanel Marie McFarland. Will Riley Moss. Shane Cedar Purcell. Kai Devin Purcell. Jeanette Florence Thoy. Sophia Giselle Pulley. Marley Keller Thrift. Wiley Blaze Thrift. Savannah Marie Busman. Vivian Elizabeth Cronin. Samuel Reed Trewartha. Aiden Kelby Waters. Jacob Allen Crandall. Diego John Contreras. Kevin Diaz. Shiloh Martin. Harrison Graham McDonald. Chet Gilman Casey. Corina Kalani Cunningham. Emily Autumn Kenke. Vincent Elias Agliolo. Joshua Lane Moody. April Rain Cedar Green. McKenna Marie Brink. Sierra Jaden Sabota. Rebecca Diane Searcy. Hey. 
Connor Pareg Tyrone McKay. Jesse McNeil. Aaron Adele Garrison. Topanga Genoa Washington. Emma Grace Caldwell. Kayla Joy Harvey. Wolf Phoenix Williams. May Lee Lucy Iphone McCann Sales. Julian Gabriel Bell Wallace. Pedro Gonzalez. Zia Weiss Wynn. Luna Paz Quinn Weiss Wynn. Everett Willis Marsh. Finley Brooke Simmons. Nathan Thomas Fukushima. Okay. William Clark Salomonovich. Right. Cameron Ray Klein. Noah James Vincent. Yeah. Tabitha Rowan Walker Bourne. Yeah. Thomas Joseph Rids Earls. Okay. Jair Jakari Thornton. Marina Luna Clark Luera. Aiden Jacob McGraw. Dylan James Ellison. Vadehi Mahendra Patel. Lance Michael Camilli. Okay. Tristan Kai Straka. Yeah. Isaiah Alejandro Preciado. <laughs> Maria Fernanda Jimenez Nava. Harmony Brianna Switzer Tryon. William Charles Baker III. Phoenix Lincoln Nicoletto. Rowan Dominic Fogg. Right, Arrow Thomas MacDonald. Yeah. Araya Peterson. Yeah. Calvin Zong Sway. Sophia and Mizuguchi. Okay, okay, okay. 
Carter Boston Ems. Martin Douglas Kernberg. Bronwyn Ainsley Lovett. Eleanor Louise Elvine Christ. Aislinn Noel McKinney. Dylan Channing Small. Everett Charles Naiman. Ava June White. Catherine Nicole Quintero. Ella Riley Lugans. Alexander Nicholas Spanos. Stanley Guo. <laughs> Matilde Marie McDonald. Annie Elizabeth McDonald. Nate Porter Ferguson. Taj Ortiz Beck. <laughs> Aluk Aranius Till. <laughs> Alvaro Axel Galindo Ramirez. Okay, okay, okay. Freya Nutter. Ave Fergus Fawkes. All right, all right. Trinity Joy Olson. <laughs> Natalia Brianna Wallace. Okay. Camille Yvonne Brady. Evelyn Rose Emmons. Desmond Walker. Axrin Sutherland. Roman Victor Aguilar. Caleb Benjamin McCarthy. Amara James Kelly. Igor Alexandrovich Tokarev. Owen Henry Miranda Hupp. Noah Jacob Meru. Judith Storm White. Samantha Christine Guerra. Arwen Zong Cliver. Tess Amelie Roscoe. Kyla Lily Graves. Anaya Yamaya. Aiden James Davenport.
Crosby Renee Fitzgerald. Fiona Oasis War L. Quinton Thomas Westfall. Pacey Joe Anderson. Blair Gale. Wyatt Robert Homan. Sean Lucas Chappelle. Writer Michael Copenhaver. Ivory Isabel Allen. Trent Russell Simmons. Okay. Keegan Lee Shackett. Yeah. Big round of applause for this class of 2022. They're fabulous. Okay, one last thing, because I can't shut up. <laughs> um, they're going to do the tassel thing, right? Your tassels should be on the left. Oh, okay, good. I asked the class of 2022 to please rise. Stand up. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. Friends and family members, here's the Arcana High graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Yeah. Probably not. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.